everyone, it's Bridget from Paper Creations with another card video today. I've made two cards today using a stamp set that's featured in the new Occasions catalogue, which um, I'm going to be sending out to all my customers on Monday. Um, hopefully you'll get it, given that it's Christmas week, but hopefully you'll get it before the 4th of January, because that's when all these items go on sale. Um, this one is actually partnered with the um, Celebration catalogue. So for every $90 that you spend, you can choose a free item from this particular um, catalogue. So let me just see if I've used... No, I haven't used that one. No. Okay, so let me show you. I think this one is on page 24. Yes, it is. So this is the stamp set that I've used, and I just love it because it's it just lends itself so well to watercolour, which is what I've done here using the new watercolour pencils, which are here. So they actually match the stamp sets and the stamp and write markers and, and the papers and um, all of that. Um, and that's them there. So we'll be using those. Um, the other thing I'm using is cupcakes and carousels, which is, um, I'm not sure what page that one's on. Let me just flick through very quickly. Um, here it is. Okay, so this one goes, this paper stack goes with this particular stamp set here, which I've also purchased, and it's just really, really cute. But there's lots and lots of gorgeous um, sort of vintage-looking vintage um, distressed almost papers in here. And we're using, I think we're using that one. Yes, we are. We're using that one. Um, what else have I done with this? Oh, yes, I've used some watercolour paper and I've used some Avery L um, sort of wonky rectangle dies to cut that out. Let me just get that. So this is it here. I've pre-cut that watercolour paper. That measures three by four. The um, designer series paper is three and three eighths by four and three quarters. And I'm using note cards. Um, I sometimes find these really convenient if I'm wanting to make quick little cards um, that don't take too long and don't, you don't have to think about it. And our note cards measure five by seven. Let me show you the stamp set. So this is actually the stamp set and it's just really, really pretty. So this card here is the one we'll make and it just says celebrate and it's a dancing lady, which I've watercolored. And inside I've put, um, life may not be the party we had hoped for, but while we're here, we might as well dance. And that's one of the sentiments on here. This one here, I've put nothing on the front, um, except the lady with the umbrella. And inside I've put, wishing you brighter days to come. That's also one of the sayings from here. And it's just gorgeous. I just love it. I can see myself using this a lot. Okay, so... So um, let's put these out of the road and get started. Oh, the other thing you'll need is your basic black ink, archival ink, because you are watercolouring, so um, it'll, it'll hold up really well, and a, a water brush. So let's do this. I'm just going to put this in here. Because it's watercolour paper, sometimes it doesn't stamp as well as I would like it to. Um, so this is a good way of getting it to, to um, be able to stamp multiple times in the same place. Especially with watercolour paper because it doesn't it doesn't actually stamp really well on watercolour paper. So you can do it as many times as you need to without it smudging and being out of the lines and all sorts of things. OK, 
Okay, I think that will do. And whatever you do, if you have one of these, don't put the magnets together because you will never get them apart. I did that once and I won't be doing that again. Okay, so now we have this and let's choose our colours. So I'm going to use yellow, blue, uh, pink. Oh, actually, maybe we might do green. What's this one? Bermuda Bay. Mm. Old Olive. No, we'll do pink. We'll do pink. And um, we want a brown as well. Okay. So I started off with her dress. And all I did was I just coloured pretty much around the edges like that. I wasn't too particular about it. I just made sure that I followed all the crease lines. And then I went up here and did the same thing. Then just take your water brush. and colour over it. This is just so pretty. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Let me just get a cloth here and wipe that down. It's very hot in here today and I've had to turn the air conditioning off because it's very noisy when I'm trying to videotape. So I've used the yellow for the hat. Again I'm not too particular about where I put the colour as long as it's basically in the area that I would like to watercolour. Okay, this is really quick and quick and easy. Oh, actually, I need a um, possibly Calypso Coral, very, very lightly, just for the arms and the legs. Barely even there. That'll give us that skin tone. Just like that. There we go. Okay. So now we can do the ground, which is brown. And that's pretty much the watercolouring done, except for the blue which I'm going to actually pick up straight off the pencil like this. Let's make sure that there's water coming out and then we'll just swirl it around. Just like that. You only want really a hint, you don't want it too dark. And that's it. That's the watercolouring done. How easy was that? Okay, so then we want our next couple of pieces. Uh, let's get that. Okay. Get your snail adhesive. And make sure when, when you um, put your paper down that it is directional, so don't accidentally put it upside down, which is what I did the first time I made this card. Just pop that on there. And this one I'm going to actually put on um, dimensionals if I can find them. Where have I put them? Oh, gosh. Oh, here they are, underneath everything. Okay.
so quick and easy to do. Um, you know, this this is actually we're going out later, and I needed to make a really quick card to take with us. So this is um, perfect for that. I love watercolouring on cards. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then it's just a matter of stamping on the inside, and you're good to go. Perfect. So three very quick little cards um, using the, and it's called Beautiful You stamp set from the New Occasions catalogue. Hopefully you enjoyed that and um, thank you for watching.